how are we supposed to review this book? I don't know. It's like a chipmunk on crack, isn't it? It just hits on everything and ugh. Don't break your brain over it. We'll think of something. I mean, this book deserves something good. Where did we get this remote anyways? I mean, it doesn't go with the DVD player or the TV or anything. I guess the point behind it is that everybody is, well, I guess the point behind it is that you can't judge people by how they look and everybody has some kind of story behind them and you know we have a whole bunch of beauty queens who have all these backstories that make them special and interesting and special. To show how our society is so fixated on consumer culture and just how much it's infiltrated our society. I mean it's everywhere and if we don't extract ourselves soon there's going to be nothing left of us. We're just going to be big giant consumers all the time. The sarcasm. The sarcasm was fantastic. You know how they were just like everything was just like a sarcastic jab at society. It was amazing. It was beautiful. I loved the clever references and just the way she goes about them with her footnotes that tell us about like uh, her world she's created and um, they just give us such a funny informative view about what um, is going on in the, so the society that she's created. Loki's even in a place. I don't think she knows about the question round. There's a question round? She's the type to just, you know, roll out of bed and go about her way. She, she wouldn't have even studied for the question round of the beauty pageant, so I don't think she's going to do very well. I'm in a beauty pageant? That, that's kind of weird. The last time I checked, I... Well, that was weird. Anyways, Beauty Queens is about 14 teen Beauty Queens trapped on a deserted island after their plane crashes. They fight for survival as well as good complexions, but they're not all focused on winning the pageant for the good of America. They all have entered for their own reasons. You know, I just pushed this button and... Welcome to our game show! Whose role is it anyway? Now for the question round where I will read out the description of the character and you will tell me which famous actor should play her role based on looks and personality if Beauty Queens ever became a movie. Our first question! Mary Lou. She's a timid girl who wears a purity ring but dreams of becoming an adventuring pirate queen. She's small with black hair and pale skin. Alexis Liddell! Adina! She speaks her mind and is afraid to turn out like her mother. She's a self-declaring f- Wait, I was just going to say feminist! She can sometimes be insensitive, even if she is a loyal friend. Kristen Stewart if she could act! She's pretty, she's glamorous, but her previous career may surprise- Don't spoil it! Justin Bieber! Emma Stone! Contestants have gone head to head and have come out point for point. We'll come back for the lightning round after a word from our sponsors. What's the matter, sweetie? Aren't you going to school today? I'm not going to school today, Mom. But why not? You love school. You're my high achiever who fulfills my narcissistic goals to outshine the other mothers on the block. I can't go to school, Mom. Look at this ungodly lip hair. Oh honey, you just need some of this. New Lady Stash Off with Triple Beauty Action. Is it that we used to sanitize the toilets? <laughs> honey, it does both. And now with New Lady Stash Off with Triple Beauty Action, you can moisturize and self-tan while you rip that unsightly hair from your lip. Wow. Does New Lady Stash Off with Triple Beauty Action hurt? Oh honey. Beauty is pain, but you don't want to look like a troll, do you? Mom! It's more than that, sweetheart. Every time you buy New Lady Stash Off with Triple Beauty Action, you're contributing to our economy, our way of life. Don't you want to contribute to our economy? Don't you want to make sure that we can have bikinis and cable and porn? 
What are you, a communist? Mom! Of course not. You're my eager to please teenage daughter and I'm your sympathetic mom here to help. In addition to new Lady Stash Off with Triple Beauty Action, there's Lady Stash Off Organic with Bonus Buffer Pad. There's an organic hair remover? No, not really. But don't you love the package? Look, it has butterflies. Wow, honey, you look great. Thanks to you and Lady Stash Off's Triple Beauty Action. Lady Stash Off. Because there's nothing wrong with you. They can't be fixed. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. She gave us such lines as, Do you think my new feminism makes me look fat? Heather Morris is Sierra. All she talks about is the Indian things she can do. Afshan Azad is Shanti. She'll kick your ass, strap you to the hood of her car, then go downtown to Starbucks for a mocha. Taylor Swift is Taylor. She's black and she's tired of people seeing her race before who she is. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nicole! Is that a mullet? Crap. Oh, crap. Our characters are also different, and they play off of each other really well. For all of the sarcasm in the book, they express something unique, honest, and real. All of the issues that Libba Bray brings up in the novel are dealt with really skillfully and don't give us any easy answers. She deals with every issue under the sun, including racism, sexism, politics, advertisements, American culture, mother-daughter relationships, regular relationships, and even native rights. It's all built into the sarcastic package. Hey, why do you think we weren't able to come up with a young black actress to play Nicole? I don't know, maybe it was one of those social issues that Libba Bray was bringing up. Awkward turtle. So anyway, these girls are trapped on the traditional deserted island. You know, there's a beach, the jungle, man-eating snakes, the usual not-really-here military base. Wait, there's a not-really-there military base? Hey, it worked! Oh. What happened? You fainted when I told you the news. What news? That your fiancé, the captain of the pirate ship Bodacious Four, he was having an affair with the pilot who crashed the plane that killed all the beauty queens and she was carrying his unborn child. But that's not all. She was your evil twin sister. Dear valued customer, we know you want to protect what matters to you most. That's why we manufactured the Get Her Done 447 personal safety handgun with honor and pride. So you can go to sleep each night with the knowledge that the outside world stays outside. And if it tries to come inside, you can shoot it dead. However, it has come to our attention that there is a small safety glitch with the Getter Done 447, which might cause it to fire too soon, or even randomly, accidentally killing someone you love. Awkward, we know. That's why we are issuing a voluntary recall of the Getter Done 447 personal safety handgun. Issuing this voluntary recall shows how much we care, and it is hard to dislike or take legal action against those who really care. If you purchased a Getter Done 447, please do not fire the weapon. Do not exhale or laugh within a five foot radius of the 447. Instead, go to our online fulfillment center at www.thecorporations.com slash getter. Type in the code OHCRAP447 and you will receive a discount on the purchase of the corporation's home weapon containment robot. Once the robot has successfully disassembled the Getter Done 447, simply mail it to the corporation and you will receive corporation credit coupons, which you may use in ordering any of our many fine products. As always, we at the corporation are committed to making your lives better, safer, and happier. You're welcome, and have a nice day. Let's recap for our studio audience. Once our band of unlucky teen beauty queens gets the hang of living on the island, out of nowhere sails the ship of wannabe pirates from the hit reality TV show Captain Bodacious 4. 
These pirates are just as interesting as the girls, and they bring in their own bucket of problems. I can't believe you were engaged to Sinjin. I was not engaged to Sinjin. That was TV land. Any girl would want to be engaged to Sinjin. He's smart, he's attractive, and has wonderful fashion sense. Sinjin St. Sinjin was the captain of the ship on the show. And he's one awesome man. Think Dr. Frankenfurter from Rocky Horror? Gone pirate. I'm much of a man by the light of day, but by night I'm one hell of a lover. I'm just a sweet transvestite. The pirates stole the ship from the show and set sail as they were on the run from the corporation's evil goons. What corporation? The corporation. They own and produce everything. Makeup, TV shows, weapons, they sponsor beauty pageants. They're like Disney, Coca-Cola, and Walmart all rolled into one. And it's the corporation who is keeping a secret base on the island. They're headed by one evil woman. No, not her. Well, not technically her. But it is her. Her name is Lady Bird Hope. She's the winner of the Miss Teen Dream pageant a long time ago. She's moved up in the world, and now she heads the corporation and handles the media. As a former beauty queen, she's a symbol of perfection, beauty, and all that's right in the world. She gives brilliant speeches that are moving and inspiring to all. I'm not sure if I... Now let me give you a lesson, Barry, Lady Bird Hope style. Now when those Vietnamese kids were hooked on drugs, we had to start a war to stop it, didn't we? Uh... No, we said crack was whack. And we made sure that everybody had guns instead of drugs. Before, when we were friends with the British and they had a mean king who made us pay too much taxes and didn't just have hot princes who went to nightclubs. They wanted to keep us from bringing freedom to the people of Mexico and making it a state. And that's why George Washington had to cut down a cherry tree and write the Star Spangled Banner. And that's why we fought World War II. And that's why we keep fighting. Because those freedom-hating people out there want to take away our right to be rich and good-looking and have gated communities and designer sweatpants like the ones from my Lady Bird Hope Don't Sweat It line. And they want us to learn to speak Muslim and let the lawyers stop us from teaching our kids about Adam and Eve and that will be the day that every child gets left behind. They need something to believe in, Barry. They need a shining beacon up on that hill. And that shining beacon will not have complications and tough questions about who we are, because that's hard. And nobody wants to have to think about that when you already have to decide whether you want original recipe or extra crispy. And let me tell you something, Barry. That shining beacon will have a talent portion in Pretty Girls. Because if we don't come out and twirl those batons and model those evening gowns and answer questions about geography, then the terrorists have won. Inspiring, just inspiring, she should be president. Lady Bird is Team Dune contestant Taylor's idol. Taylor is the girl's elected leader and is devoted to beauty pageants. She never gives up. Ever. Her father was a military man and Taylor took military life to heart. She's the most ridiculous, driven, and devoted character on the island. So it's, it's getting kind of dark. Maybe we should, you know, light a fire or no, build a on. shelter. No, Loki. We need to practice for the pageant. Okay, so ready? Step, ball change, kick. Come on, ready? Well, I, I'm kind of hungry. Maybe we should get food. No. Food Come on, Loki. Spirit fingers. Spirit fingers. Libba Bray's sarcasm in this book is a thing to behold. She creates it by completely scrapping the world we know and building up a new North American society filled completely with reality TV shows, commercial breaks, movie stars, beauty products, clothing lines, state-of-the-art weaponry, etc. And because we don't know Libba Bray's cultural references, she keeps us up to date with informative and entertaining footnotes. You will live for these footnotes. Bray gives us an interesting cast of characters that's giant and all of them bring up some kind of social comment or issue while being utterly fascinating. One really great character is Momo Bichacha. He's the dictator of the Republic of Chacha. He's fearsome and he has an undying love of Elvis and probably looks like this. Look, I did research and make myself a 1990s trivia t-shirt. Talk to the Hun. Get it? Talk to the Hun. He's one of the major villains and he's so ridiculous that... Crap. Hey, Red. Hi, Loki. Where were you? Out. Out where? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Do you even remember how we got here? How did we get here? Well, 
The last thing I remember was I was out and there was pie. <laughs> last thing I remember, we were doing the review. Okay, so review. Focus. How can I focus? There are people watching us and laughing at us. There are always people watching us and laughing at us. I think it's this remote. Ah, there's it's gotta be broken or something. Come on, come on. I feel like we haven't said anything about this book. I know, and it's hard because there's a lot we want to talk about, but not a lot we can actually say without spoiling it. Also, it's difficult because the first half of the book really has no plot to it. It's mostly about the girls surviving and detoxing from society, but it sets up beautifully for the second half where the dung hits the metaphorical fan. What is Beauty Queens about? Well, it's a coming-of-age story, it's a social critique, it's a parody, and by God, it's good. Anything you could ask for in a story is there, with all the heart, humor, and action you could ask for. This book is at the top of our must-read list, and has something in it for both guys and girls, so don't let the title fool you. It gets down and dirty in the most epically entertaining ways possible. Go read it. So where did this come from, anyways? No idea. I mean, I've seen it around, but, uh... Hmm. Red? Mm-hmm. When did we get a cat? We don't have a cat. Well, there's a cat in the apartment. Oh, look at you, aren't you so precious? Aren't you so precious? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, hello, baby, what's your name? Looks really angry. I'm going to name it her. I'm going to name her Lucy. Are you and Lucy? Short for Lucifer? You look kind of evil. Can we keep her? Fine. Can we? I love you too. See, she's already talking to me. Oh, there's so much wrong with you. But years of expensive therapy can't fix. I Don't know, be cat. free. Run Go away. Go be free. We gotta have to go get cat food. Okay. Yes, the remote was the perfect distraction. Pet the kitty, love the kitty, it's all according to my plan.